What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and oh my gosh, dude, we got a bombshell of news dropped on us today and I am not even exaggerating when I tell you this, it's incredibly exciting. Like I actually can't wait. It's been kind of a kind of a down kind of a down period. What's the what's the term? Is it down period? You know what I mean? It's been kind of slow in Pokemon Go these last couple of weeks, but dude, things are about to heat up again. We got a new event and a new season going down in the next couple of days actually so we're gonna talk about that today it's actually kind of a lot of news so i'm gonna break it up and space it out throughout the video and of course of course we have some cool stuff to do as well now before we get into the news because i don't want to go right into the news even though it is really exciting and i want to talk about it i know you guys want some action right off the rip so before we get into the news ladies and gentlemen as you guys may know zamazenta the new generation 8 legendary is now live in pokemon go he's my favorite generation 8 legendary and we ended up doing a couple of raids ladies and gentlemen here's my pokedex edition zamazenta catch here we go my first ever zamazenta raid in pokemon go i'm actually really excited about this i've mentioned this before zamazenta is my favorite out of zacian and zamazenta so hopefully we get a good one down goes zamazenta we need 2188 cp that is the hundo i would absolutely max this out right now if i could 2142 i believe was what we just got on mr zama zenta that's all good dude there's no shiny but that's all right man 2142 oh he looks so good dude oh he looks so good yes all right i missed shouldn't have missed there we go ball don't lie let's go ahead and grab mr zama zenta first ball because we're because we're built different nope of course not all right bud Listen, listen, I love you. You're a good legendary. Let's let's act like it, right? Let's act like it, right? Down goes Zamazenta, ladies and gentlemen. Pokey Dex Edition. Gimme those. Yes, sir. Absolute dubs in the chat. Love to see that. 2142 IVs are no good. And here it is, dude. Zamazenta is here in Pokemon Go. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking Pokemon. And it's a fighting type, which we don't have many of in Pokemon Go. So I'm really hoping this guy gets a good moveset one day and he'll be super good. But I actually did a couple of these raids already. There's one, there's two a little bit better, there's three, and there's four. So I've done four Zamazenta raids. It just came out, so I haven't really raided a ton of it. But it's exciting and I'm glad it's around. Let me know in the comments down below what's your guys' best Zacian or Zamazenta. I know Zacian just left hopefully we get him back soon with the shiny variants but 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 speaking of shiny variants let's get into the news let's start off the news that we got to get into here we are the new season coming to pokemon go coming in september get ready for the season of mischief and dude we don't miss we don't miss every time i come to this park and record a video and almost every time i record a video there's a guy that lights up the road dude and it happens every time and that's how we do things over here anyways the season of mischief is coming in september on september 1st which is just a few days away now look at the research breakthrough encounter man from wednesday september 1st to october 1st so we have a month of this research breakthrough encounter we'll have ditto in research breakthroughs encounters and that's exciting not because it's ditto but because it actually can be shiny for the first time ever outside of special research you might encounter shiny ditto if you're lucky and it's going to be available in the wild as well ladies and gentlemen this is the official release of shiny ditto it is no longer shiny locked it is here in research breakthroughs and it's going to be available in the wild from now on that's huge that is huge news everyone loves shiny ditto it's such a cool shiny such a rare shiny especially uh actually i think it'll always be a rare shiny even when it goes to the wild it'll always be a rare shiny and that is big big news that is amazing and next up let's get into the legendary pokemon that are going to be in raids starting on september 1st oh my gosh i've been asking for this guy to be back in raids for such a long time and he finally is. Ladies and gentlemen, Lugia with the attack Aeroblast will be appearing in five star raids from Wednesday, September 1st to Tuesday, September 14th. Lugia's back for two weeks. I have two Lugia raid hours. Are you kidding me? For those of you that don't know, Lugia is probably my favorite Pokemon of all time. Like him, Rayquaza, and Charizard are all right next to each other but i think lugia has a little bit of an edge just because of my nostalgia when i was a child and look at this lugia that i got not too long ago you guys might remember this 100 percent iv best buddy lugia i've already double moved it this is one of the best pokemon in the game in my opinion and i love this guy and i don't have enough xl candies to 50 maximum 
yet. He's coming back to raids. It's my opportunity for more XLs and obviously more shinies as well. And who knows, maybe even a Shundo. It's possible, dude. It's possible. I'm going to go for it. Or another Hundo. I'll take another Hundo all day, baby. But Lugia is coming back to raids and I cannot wait, man. That'll be dope. The next piece of news right here is something I was also kind of expecting sometime soon. I don't know if it was going to be the next thing, but ladies and gentlemen, depending on your region, Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf are going to be back in raids from September 14th to October 1st. So you have three weeks, about three weeks, of the Lake Guardians being back in raids. Pretty cool legendaries. Uh, I think Azelf is probably the most useful, but they're pretty good in PvP, so it's nice, it's nice. And you want to know what's even nicer about them coming back to raids, dude? The Shinies are going to be available for the first time ever in Pokemon Go. Shiny Azelf, Shiny Yuxi, Shiny Mesprit. Pretty cool shinies, I'm not gonna lie. They're nothing insane, but they're pretty nice, uh, especially if you're a fan of the Lake Guardians. So we got three brand new shiny legendaries coming to raids. Heck yeah. It is worth noting, of course, that they are going to only be available in their region. So Yuxi's gonna be in, what do you call it, in Asia Pacific. Uh, Azelf's gonna be in the Americas. So it's gonna be the same how it was when they were first around. Now that being said, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, dude, I want Yuxi and Mesper too. Well, make sure you guys have some people added. Check the Discord or the comments down below of this video. Uh, if you guys are want to put your, your friend code in the comments down below and say where you're from, you guys can add a bunch of each other up so when these Pokemon drop, you guys can do these raids and do the raids that are in other regions of the world. That's going to be it for the Legendary Raids for the next month, but that is huge news, man. I can't wait to get new Shiny Legendaries, and I can't wait for Lugia. Now, before we get to the next piece of news, you guys know in my videos, I usually do a new Shiny Evolution, a new Hundo Evolution, something to really spice it up, uh, especially when I'm trying to get new things entered in my DEXs. Now, speaking of DEXs, I never realized that there were some things in the Mega Dex I never got. So if we head over to our Mega Dex, there's actually two Pokemon I'm missing. For some reason, just forgot to do it, never entered these Pokemon in the Mega Dex. So let's do one of them right now. Um, I don't have a shiny version of Slowpoke. I would do that one, but I don't have a shiny version of it and I want it to be a shiny Dex entry. Probably. I might just do it anyways. Who knows? Uh, but I say, we go with, I say we go with Altaria. Now, I got a thousand shiny Swablu and a thousand Hundo Swablu as well. I have four Hundo Swablu slash Altaria. So, uh, definitely Altaria is a big fan of JT Gilly, which I appreciate. But we're going to go ahead and evolve, or Mega Evolve, excuse me, this 1274 Altaria. Now, listen, uh, we're just doing this for the Mega Dex entry. Nothing crazy about it. Yeah, it's a good Mega, I guess. It looks pretty cool, though. It looks pretty gosh darn cool. Let's go ahead and throw it in the Megadex. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bada bing, bada boom. He gets to 2045, which isn't that crazy to be honest, but it's a bad IV shiny Altaria, so I don't expect it to be that wild. Plus, I don't really know if Mega Altaria has much use in Pokemon Go, to be honest. But hey, a new Pokemon in the Megadex, you know what it is. That's a dub right there. And I wanted to intro this next segment because we're going to be talking about the Mega Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go in September. So, for the month of September, to start things off, we got Mega Slowbro returning to raids until September 14th, which is pretty much exactly half of the month. And the second half of the month is going to be Mega Houndoom. So those are your Mega Pokemon that are going to be in raids. Next up, the spotlight hours in the month of September actually are pretty good. I feel like usually they kind of miss and they, they kind of usually aren't that great other than the bonuses. But the spotlight hours in September looking good. We got Spoink, Ball Toy, Skitty, and Alolan Meowth. All shiny eligible. Ball Toy and Skitty are pretty rare shinies. I feel like they don't really spawn much. And actually Spoink as well. And then Alolan Meowth is a cool shiny. You don't have to hatch eggs, so you can sneak it here without having to hatch the eggs for it. Plus, you get a Stardust boost for catching Alolan Meowth. So that's, those are good. Those are good spotlight hours. I like that. Now let's take a quick break from the news. And trust me, there's still really, really exciting news that I haven't even talked about. That's at the end of the article that we're going to be talking about in a second. But first off, I've gotten pretty lucky in Pokemon Go lately. And if you guys watched the last video, we had a little bit of talk about something. And we were talking about this guy right here. The Shadow 98% IV Makuhita, which I'm one button away, actually technically two, from purifying him and make him an Hundo. Now, I asked you guys in the comments of the last video, and I was like, chat, should I purify it and make it a hundo, or should I just 
leave it a, a Shadow Hariyama, which is actually a pretty solid fighting type Pokemon. And honestly, man, it was kind of split down the middle. There may have been a little bit more people saying to keep it Shadow. Uh, but honestly, I didn't know what to do. I really didn't know what official decision to make. Now, honestly, I think I'm going to leave him be for now because I can't even get rid of Frustration right now because they haven't brought that feature back yet. So there's no rush. I don't need to max him out right now. He is a very solid fighting type Pokemon, but as of right now, we're gonna leave him alone. Now, that being said, I do have a hundo, a new hundo, that I gotta show you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Magikarp wants to join the adventure. Hundo Magikarp. I barely hatch eggs anymore. The only eggs I incubate are 12 kilometer eggs and my free incubator on two kilometer eggs. That's it. I don't do Alolans anymore, I don't do 5Ks. I will though soon because there's an egg hatch up, egg shake up coming up soon, which I'm gonna talk about right now. Uh, but I barely hatch eggs, and what do you know? I hatch a Hundo Magikarp. Isn't that something, dude? Hundo Magikarp. Now I already have a 50 maxed best buddy Gyarados, so for now I'm probably gonna leave him as a Hundo Magikarp just so I have the nice family. But as soon as I get another one, I'll definitely evolve and max one of them out because who doesn't love some Gyarados action? But there he is right there, man. There he is right there. And I actually almost have enough XLs to 50 max another one too, which is awesome. Well, kind of. I'm still about 100 short, but that's a pretty solid amount and I know I'll, I'll definitely get more soon. But hey, we got a new Hundo and I wanted to show that off to you guys. Ooh, and speaking of a quick break from the news, I just got invited to a Snorlax raid that I am definitely gonna join because this is a shiny. I really want to get and a hundo I really want to get so let's go in and take down the Snorlax real quick and see if we can get a shiny on camera and just like that down goes Mr. Snorlax 1743 is the hundo and we got a boosted one 2297 um, I don't know what the boosted hundo is to be honest but ladies and gentlemen is this going to be our first ever shiny Snorlax in Pokemon go no man I've tried so hard for this shiny dude I've checked so many I've done so many raids all the go fests, all the events, I've never been able to get them. But anyways, down he goes right there, and oh wow, 96%. Okay, wow, that was actually almost a hundo. That's awesome. Okay, that's cool, nice. Well, hey, let's get back into the news because we are not done yet. And this might even be the most exciting piece of news that we have to talk about for most of you guys. But this is one of the biggest parts of this news bombshell that we got. Hoopa is arriving in Pokemon Go. We kind of saw this one coming. Hoopa's been in the research and it's been on the loading screen and all that good stuff. Hoopa is coming to Pokemon Go. So beginning on September 1st, you'll be able to access a season long special research story. It's probably gonna be a fat one, like, I don't know, walk 100 kilometers, catch a 1,000 Pokemon. Like, it's gonna be like a, one of those long special researches. But throughout the special research, we'll be able to catch Hoopa. It says, throughout the season of mischief, you'll gain access to different sets of tasks in this special research story. So it seems like this is gonna be a multi-part special research. And at some point, we'll be able to encounter the confined version of Hoopa, which I believe is this version right here. And you can do that beginning September 5th. So that is going to be huge. Another new Legendary? Is it a legendary Pokemon? I think it is. So September 5th is Hoopa's arrival, right? And check out that bottom paragraph right there. Complete the special research tasks for an opportunity to catch Hoopa. Now on September 5th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., which are community day hours, various strange phenomena will be happening all around the world. Maybe this has something to do with Hoopa. What does that mean? There's going to be a six-hour mysterious special event going down on September 5th. And that's a Sunday, too, so it's not going to be nothing... I don't think it'll be something like whack or small. I think this might be big. Now, I don't know what it could be. I think it possibly could be a bunch of different legendaries coming back to raids, like like GoFest type beat where all the legendaries came back for a few hours. I could see that happening. Um, or it could just be a bunch of crazy spawns. Who knows? But stay, stay, I'll say stay woke. Stay tuned for this date because something crazy might happen. Oh. Never mind. If you scroll down, it tells you what's going to happen. Okay. Well, I take it back. Sorry. Sorry for hyping that up for no reason, but at least I'm letting you guys down right away. Uh, looks like we're just going to be getting an incense day type event where we have psychic and then dark and ghost type spawns every other hour which is it's still exciting it still really is cool but it's not legendaries for the whole day so sorry for juking you guys out right there but here are the spawns during the psychic and ghost and dark type hours i don't know why they're so dark i can barely see them on the screen but those are your psychic and ghost and dark 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 type spawns 
Nothing crazy, but a lot of cool shinies in there, a lot of rare shinies, so I'll definitely play this event. There's also going to be a collection challenge that will reward Hoopa candy and a new avatar pose. There's going to be double transfer candy, I like that, a free bundle of incenses, and special research, or sorry, field research tasks to earn rare candies, and a verity, oh, sorry, what? A variety of Pokeball types. You think they're gonna add a new ball or is it, is it, are they just saying great balls and ultra balls and stuff like that? Nah, they're probably just saying the regular balls. Man, why can't they add new balls yet? That'd be fun. Well, what else is happening during the season of Mischief? Mischief abound. Throughout the season, you can look forward to Mischief. How many times are we gonna say Mischief? Different Pokemon are gonna be appearing in the wild in the seasons. We got some of those Pokemon right there and more and more of course. Uh, the, the hemispheres are gonna have different spawns now. In the northern hemisphere, we have Gen 2 starters. The southern hemisphere has Gen Five starters. Uh, different Pokemon are going to be hatched from eggs. This is my favorite parts. Two kilometer eggs are going to have a shakeup. Five kilometer eggs are going to have a shakeup. Ten kilometer eggs are going to have a shakeup. And then the Adventure Sync eggs are going to have a shakeup, which is good. We, we like change, especially in the egg pool. So the 10 kilometer Adventure Sync eggs look amazing. 5Ks look okay with those new shinies, and they're actually not bad. 10Ks look a little weird. I don't know about those. 5Ks, that's not bad. Those are pretty rare shinies. And then 2Ks, probably better than before. Now back to the Ditto thing. These are the new Pokemon that Ditto can transform into. So make sure you keep an eye out on these Pokemon if you want shiny Ditto. Ghastly, Drowsy, Remoraid, Teddy Ursa, Gulpin, Numel, Stunky, Doable, and uh, Famungus. What's his name? The mushroom guy. Um, those are the Pokemon right there that can turn into Ditto. So keep an eye out and catch those Pokemon if you guys want a shiny Ditto. I know that was a ton of news, but hey, tell me that wasn't super exciting. I mean, that is going to be some good stuff going down in the month of September and during the entire season. We got legendaries, we got new legendaries, returning legendaries, new shinies, old shinies, new events. It's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. I cannot wait. If you guys are hyped for any of this good stuff, Make sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys are most hyped about. For me, I'm most hyped about Lugia, and I'm most hyped about uh, the new Shiny Legendaries as well. That's actually going to be really cool, but let me know what you guys are hyped about in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already, and I will see your faces later. Deuces.